a little bit about me. I think you guys kind of know me, but it'd be great if I could tell you more. Um, so here's my story. So my name is Aquila, Aquila Farrell, and I'm a biochemist turned blogger, turned convert kit coach. I used to work at one of the top five cancer centers in the world, running clinical trials and approving clinical trials for Health Canada and the FDA. And um, I left that to pursue fashion and travel. <laughs> people are like, oh, you left? You, you stopped saving people from cancer to do fashion. Yeah, I mean, it was emotionally draining. I was seeing these patients dying right before my eyes. You know, I would set up a study for patients right to today and then they would die tomorrow. And I just felt drained. So I decided to go after fashion and travel. I started a blog and was using email marketing to drive traffic to my blog. And that's when I was like, oh, this is the missing piece to really like ramp up my views. And I started using ConvertKit and now I wanna teach other people how to do the same thing. I was introduced to email marketing by the notable Janelle B. Stewart. I think some of you guys know her. I don't know if you guys know her. And immediately I experienced the power of using email marketing to drive traffic to my blog. It was like life changing. Um, and at the time I was using MailChimp, but since then I've grown and really developed and I'm using ConvertKit. I've sent over 5 million emails for myself and for my clients. And this year I hope to add another million, if not uh, 1.5 million emails. So I'm really proud of this number <laughs> because it just shows like how email marketing works for you and how it can not, it not only work for you, but work efficiently and actually make money. Um, I will, I'll tell you that last year was my best financial year for my business and I really owe it to email marketing. In the past four years, I've used email marketing to promote my businesses, build a relationship with my audience and sell more products. I have a small business and I sell like really great numbers using email marketing, specifically ConvertKit. And I love that my email list is filled with the people that love me. They're my community. I think they're the bigger community than, let's say, Instagram. No shade. Um, I love Instagram, but my email list is my, like my baby. My baby. Now I want to teach you to do the same, but here are the five things you need to let go and stop telling yourself. So number one, I don't know what to say. Okay, so, so you don't know what to say. Well, what if there were templates of what you should say? What if there were examples that you could use of what to say? What if you could learn from someone with experience? At the end, learning what to say is not a reason to not get started. So I don't think it's, you know, a valuable, a, a valid reason as to why you can't get started. There's so many ways you can learn what to say, how to say it. That's not a roadblock. Number two, people will unsubscribe. Okay. The reality about email marketing is that you only want people who want to be on your list. You don't want people who don't want to be on the list. It's almost like having a birthday party with people who don't want to be there. They are here for you and your val the value that you offer. And you only want people who are there who want to be there. And you know how they let you know that they don't want to be there? They unsubscribe. So for me, when somebody unsubscribes, I'm actually happy. Because as you build your email list and you go from 100 to 300 to 1,000 to 1,500 to 4,000, 8,000, you pay to actually have those subscribers on the list. Remember, email marketing is something that you're supposed to be making money from. So... ConvertKit, MailChimp, as the numbers grow, you pay more. So as people unsubscribe, it opens up the list for more people to join. So it's almost a benefit to you if people unsubscribe and it allows you to grow your list more, right? So don't, be, don't take it personal. Don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm failing. No, you're making room on the couch for people who want to sit on it. So building a list with people who love your content and open your emails is who you want on your list. You don't want, you know, auntie or sister or cousin who don't really care. You want people, you want a list that you can actually pull from. I'll tell you a story about somebody that I admire. His name is Ray Edwards. 
He talks about email marketing, um, copywriting. And he shared a story that let me like, that really changed my perspective on uns people unsubscribing. He said that, you know, when he, he wanted to buy a house, everybody wants to buy a house. And he sat down and he said, you know what, I'm going to write an email marketing campaign and I'm going to make the down payment for my house. He sat down, he wrote, I think it was like 10 emails. Um, and to those emails, it was attached to one of his products, I think for like $1,500. And he sat down, wrote that email campaign, sent it out, and he made $100,000 in like 10 days. And that was a down payment for the house that he needed. And he said the main reason why he could confidently do, the, confidently do that was because he knew the people on that list wanted to be there for that program. You see how that, how that works? He knew that he could sit down, write something, you know, write, write a really strong email marketing plan, but because the list was there for that product, he could pull from them the money that he needed. See how that works? Maybe you're not here for money. So, so like, well, well, I'm not trying to make money off an email list. Great for you. What about just community and being able to connect and share information? But you don't want to be writing these email campaigns and then nobody, you know, it's not the right fit. They're not here for you. So unsubscribing is not a problem. Don't be offended. Number three, my email list won't grow. Okay. So your email list won't grow if you don't have a plan. It won't grow if you don't know how to grow it. And it won't grow if you're not consistent. You have to get started with the right tools. So that's the first thing. I mean, growing your email list takes time. I saw somebody in the chat who said their email list was 100. Um, one of the people in the course said our, her email list is 500,000. And I was like, girl, go, go for it. I'm here to help you. Because if you have a plan and you know what it takes to grow the list, then you know it's not a problem to grow it. So you, you got to remove that from your, from your mind, that it won't grow. It will grow. I'm not sure what platform to use. So I think you guys know what I'm going to say here. Of course, it's going to be okay. Um, I'm also going to say that the platform you need to use is ConvertKit. Not because I'm a ConvertKit ambassador, but because ConvertKit will grow with you as you continue to grow. When I started email marketing, I was just sending out updates about my blog, right? But now I'm selling programs. I'm selling courses. I'm selling. There's a lot of things I sell through email marketing that you guys don't even know I sell because there's so many different funnels that I use in ConvertKit that are standalone with different entry points. I'll tell you a story. I was in a clubhouse room a couple nights ago. My friend was talking about travel partnerships, which is something that I know a lot about. I did a travel partnership with JW Marriott Hotels for a couple years, and I have a course about it. She brought me up on stage. I, eat, you know, I talked about the you know, pitching brands for hotels and travel. And then at the end, I said, if anybody's interested in this course, DM me and I'll send you a link. And I got over eight, um, 80 DMs about this course. And you know what I did? You know, email marketing worked for me again. I sent them to the landing page that I created with ConvertKit. They all signed up. They then purchased the course and I made over uh, $1,500 that night. Um, simply because I had the email set up. I had the funnel set up. So that's how email marketing works. And that's not just like me talking. That's what happens to me a lot because I already have the email marketing to back it, right? So it's with, it, these things are happening with ease, literally making money in my sleep. Number five, I'm not sure where to start. Okay, you already started. <laughs> You took the course, you took the ABCs of email marketing, you're here tonight, you're on your way, pat yourself on the, black, on the back. Well done, you know where to start. And I have one more thing to get you started. But first let's let go of the fear. So let's really decide that we're not gonna be fearful anymore and we're gonna go for it. On the other side of fear is everything you ever wanted. That's actually my life mantra. Um, it's not even just like, something that I like to say, it's like actually what I live for every day because everything that I ever wanted was on the other side of fear. 
for me. I want you to meet Megan. She's a Christian influencer, entrepreneur, wife, mother, and she's the owner of the Christian Influencer um, Academy. She's one of my students and top clients and has used email marketing to really build an amazing community of people who love her and not only love her, but want her help to, be, to build their brand as Christian influencers. I want you to meet Simone. She actually painted that picture of Kobe, RIP Kobe. She's a portrait artist, entrepreneur, glass artist, and she's a powerhouse who's really you know, dominating Clubhouse by teaching artists how to not just be artists, but to pair it with business, to actually make a, a living out of their art. She also recently hosted a virtual art show with over 1,600 people in attendance. And she accredits that, she credits that to email marketing, uh, which I helped her with. So she was able to have 1,600 people on a Zoom. Can you imagine 1,600 people on a Zoom? I can't even manage like seven people on a Zoom. Wow. This is my friend, Tiffany Don, uh, one of my friends, closest friends. We have over 30 years of friendship. We met when we were about th three years old. Um, she's a hair educator, entrepreneur, hairstylist and a boss. During COVID, her salon was forced to shut down. And I begged her, I'm like, can you just trust me? Just trust me, trust me. Um, let's use your email list, let's create a course and let's sell it using email marketing. Um, she was able to supplement her income using email marketing and survive COVID. And now that COVID is, you know, died down and her salon's open, she's still selling her courses using email marketing. Amazing story. Um, on the brink of depression, feeling like she's going to lose it all. Um, but she had an email list of a little less than 500 people. And we were able to like milk that list <laughs> um, to actually help her to build, like have her revenue steady every month, even though she, had to, she didn't have to do hair. I want you to meet Victoria. She's a self-care strategist, mental health advocate, entrepreneur. Um, she's one of my recent students in one of my programs and I'm just really proud of Victoria. I'll never forget when she signed up for my program and how fast she was going through it. I was like tracking her. I'm like, she's almost finished. Um, and she's just really determined and understands like she really gets email marketing and I'm really excited to see where she goes from here. Meet Rhonda. She's an encourager, speaker, singer, songwriter. She's actually in Germany. She's so sweet. Uh, we meet um, and I help her via Zoom or email to get her email marketing. She, she's sharing like two different pieces. Like she's doing music as well as another piece, a part of her brand. So it's really good to help her like strategize and like figure it out. So they're all members of a community that I have called Convert More. And that's what I would like to welcome you to tonight. What is this community about? So behind Convert More, the doors of Convert More, you'll learn how to build your email list. I spoke about the importance of that, building a list. How to create powerful subject lines. If you're concerned about opens, this is gonna help you. How to write emails that your audience loves. How do we really write these emails? Like how, what do I say? How to get your emails opened, major key. How to use email marketing, period right? Maybe you have no experience. We're going to actually teach you how to do that. Who is this community for? Entrepreneurs, anyone who has an email list, maybe you already have a list, anyone who wants to rely on themselves and not the algorithm. That's actually a bar because like, I just want to rely on myself. I don't want to rely on Instagram to share my content. Okay. Anyone who wants more than just social media, anyone who wants to build an email list. So let's say you don't have a list, you want to build one. Anyone who has tried email marketing and failed, anyone interested in ConvertKit, so anyone who has let go of the fear. So let me go back to the ConvertKit thing. You've heard me talk about ConvertKit so much. You know, if you're interested, this is for you. Anyone who has let go of, who's ready to let go of the fear. So let me break it down a little bit more for you. So in Convert More, we have office hours. They're every two weeks. You can drop in with questions. And if you can't make it live, I share the replay in Teachable. So people come in and they ask questions, short questions, long questions, but I help you. Think of it like office hours in uni or in college. 
And then once a month, I meet with everyone in a group coach group session where I actually teach a lesson. You can drop in with questions. If you can't make it live, I also have the replay available to you in Teachable, so you won't miss anything. Community resources. So that's like all of the information that I share monthly. So that's live group coaching, video lessons, tutorials, challenges, Q and A's replays so challenges you know i like to give you like a plan for the month and challenge you with goals so that you're actually working towards something and tonight you know i love to offer this as a bonus the email templates you'll receive the templates of what you should say in your email marketing plans so no guessing simply copy paste and add whatever you want to your taste um i've done the work for you smile so you don't have to worry about what to say that was some of your fears. Bonus two, checklist and plans. Not sure what email marketing you should set up for the month. I'll share a plan with you like monthly, quarterly, you can use um, to get the best results in ConvertKit. I want ConvertKit to work for you. And again, I did the work. So I'm basically telling you how to set it up, the flow, so that it works. So when you sign up, this is what you're getting today. Office hours every two weeks, group coaching once a month community resources, the templates as a bonus, checklists and plans, the total value is 10,000. And that's with everything added up. When you really look at my time, um, companies that work with me, this is what they're paying approximately, but not for you guys. But you're only paying $400. <laughs> wow, is that a typo? You'll have access to all of this, for 12 months. So it's not 12, it's not $400 a month. It's $400 for 12 months of access. So I just want to make that clear. It's not $400 a month. It's $400 for 12 months. So let me break that down a little bit. So let's say $400 divided by 12. That's $33 a month. In 2021, we're gonna to work together and convert more and wipe away all the fears. So convert more is gonna address all the fears that you have and really help you move forward. You're gonna get everything that I offered before as well as working with me once every quarter. We're gonna talk for 30 minutes and then you have access to me by email. And the email access is actually golden because a lot of people always have email question, questions via email. Um, yes, I answer them in the community, but email, sometimes I just hop on a Zoom to actually go over it. And for that, you would only pay $290, $299 more. And that would be $699 to meet with me um, and sometimes a member of my team to actually go over anything that you want to clarify. So that is actually a huge discount from the regular price of $1,100. So if you decide to like actually sign up um, by the end of this call, I'm going to add an additional 30 minute session so you can actually get an additional one rather than um, four, you'll get five. And if you don't sign up for the one on one, you can just do um, you can get the monthly, you know, access to the program and then a, a complimentary one on one session. And usually during that session, I help you set up your convert kit, make sure that it's all set up and ready to you so that you can learn what you need to learn in the program. Um, you being here tonight is not by accident. You're supposed to be here. Right now you're exactly where you need to be. And I'm exactly here to actually help you. You have everything you need to get started with email marketing. You have my help. You have a plan. Um, you can sign up now. We start on February the 1st. So I also want to go through some questions that you may be having. You may be thinking like, how do I actually like I have a few questions before I make a decision. So the question is, can I cancel? Yes, you can. So canceling is gonna be every 365 days. So like I said, this offers for one year. Let's say you do one year and you're like, okay, I've learned everything I need to, you can cancel, right? That's perfectly fine. Another question some people have is, how long will this take to work? And to be honest, um, it's really based off of your pace and your commitment. So if you really like 
you know, I've seen some people go into ConvertKit, really learn it, and they're able to use the program. They're asking questions, they're DMing me, um, emailing me, getting really involved in, you know, the, the program, and it works for them in a couple months. So it's really about your time commitment. And I would say you need to like commit an hour a week, if not more. Can I use the free version of ConvertKit in this program? Absolutely not. You would have to pay for the upgraded ConvertKit program. And the reason why is because though ConvertKit gives you free access, it does not give you all the capabilities for the automation part. So email marketing really works with automation. That's the point of it. And that's how it works for you. So you have to pay for that monthly fee for um, to get access to the sequences and landing, not landing pages, automations and sequences and rules. Another question I get is, I can't make it to the live class. Will there be a replay? Absolutely. As long as I meet with people and I film um, the, vid the actual session, there will be a replay. Last question that I received, I receive all the time is, I want to sign up, but can I do it tomorrow? Uh, why not do it today? Hey, Kula. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine. Good, well, thank you for the presentation. It was very informative. Um, I do have a couple of questions. You were saying some things about your, when you were on Clubhouse, you had um, some people that were interested in your other course, so you had some funnels already um, in place. Can you speak more? Is it kind of like click funnels? Is it when you say funnels, like what do you? So, so funnel is any, like funnels refer to any process where you take people in at the top to get them to like buy something at the end. So I'm not using click funnels. I'm using everything in ConvertKit only. Mm, but so it's the same concept. It's the same What's concept the and it's just cheaper, I think. <laughs> so it's like, I'm using a landing page, right? That I get from ConvertKit. So I have, I have dozens of landing pages, all for different things. For email marketing, for travel partnerships, for blogging, whatever, right? And when they go to that landing page, they put their email and their name in. And then from there, they go down the funnel. And the funnel is like a series of emails that I actually have prepared that are all automated. And the point of them is for them to actually buy something. Right. To buy the course or to meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and that's usually like towards the bottom of the funnel because like if I send you four emails and you haven't bought yet, like I gotta get you to buy something. But I mean, I could hop on Clubhouse and talk about something that I barely even talk about and run this funnel because I had this set up for years. Mm, okay. So it's like, it's just, a, it's like having something in your back pocket. And like that night I realized, whoa, I really like this. I have this email marketing thing down because, you know, I don't even talk about travel partnerships anymore, but I have the funnel in place to get people to convert. So this course that I've had for years for $47 is now making me money. And I'm just like randomly, I'm talking about it just because that's like nothing to do with what I've been talking about now with email marketing and the same thing with blogging. Like if you go to my blog on the there's a, a, a entry form on the side. Um, and it says like, do you want a free preview to my ebook about email marketing, um, about blogging? If you put your name and email in there, you're going down a funnel about blogging. I don't really talk about blogging anymore. So like, this is what passive income looks like that allows you to like run all of these different funnels, um, even when you've moved on. <laughs> so like, I don't talk about, like, I love blogging, it was great to me, but I don't share that on my, like, that's not my brand anymore. But if you go to, if you interact with me on this way, you're gonna hear about it. And I think, you know, I love that you've talked about Clubhouse because what happens with Clubhouse is, you know, you go into Clubhouse, you talk, you speak, you know, you really impress like the audience. And then you tell people to connect with me. How am I connecting with you? DM? Well, what happens? What are you sharing in that DM? And that's where you need to be having like those landing pages link and landing page links and then having these funnels prepared because that's where you can actually convert them on a sale and not necessarily a sale. Let's say sales are not your focus, adding them to your email list and building that list out for later if you have a future goal. 
of like maybe a community or a membership later on, or maybe you just want them to be a part of you, like your world and like learn more about you and what you're doing. So like, I think Clubhouse has really exposed people to the concept of funnels and having like a strong plan. Because like I said, I had 80 people in my DM, but I had a plan to get them into like my bank account. <laughs> to get their coin in my bank account. <laughs> which is not like some people's goal. That's just for me. Like if you wanted to learn more about how to travel, do travel partnerships, I have this course. Like, um, and you know, some people bought like that same night. Some people are still in the funnel running down the emails. So it's just, that's how email marketing works, but it just takes time to build these things. And mm -hmm. I think that's where people get a little intimidated and they want to hire other people, which you can hire. You can hire me. Like, you know, I work with private clients. But to hire me to build it is going to cost a lot more than this. So it's like a lot of, it sounds like it's a lot of um, pre, like template making, like a lot of work that goes into the, the pre before you get like diving into it, like really, really diving into it. Because like yeah. you have your systems and like you were saying, like there's the templates and stuff like that, um, which you've done. I mean, that's an option um but just having that mindset like you have to put a whole bunch of systems and not a whole bunch but you have to put make sure that there's like some good systems in place first before you start really sprinkling your seeds around yeah i mean it's so email marketing is about automation right so when it's one and done <laughs> that's another thing you do it once it's done i'm using the same funnel i created years ago Mm. I haven't touched it. It's the same thing. But I know if I want people to run through this funnel, it's this and this is this landing page. If I want people to run through that funnel, I know it's that landing page. So like each landing page is for a certain product. Okay. So setting that up, like that first part, you have to, like you said, you have to set it up. You need to know what to say. You need to know like how automation even works. Like ConvertKit, though a really great platform, it's, it's, it's a whole new language. <laughs> You've never touched email yeah. marketing before. And I think that's where people get intimidated. But if you really learn it, you're golden because you can create anything that you want whenever you want. And you don't have to pay somebody like me <laughs> to do it for you because that's, what, that's all I do, create funnels. And I'm doing them like really... Um, really simply and just using one platform. So you're not going to lead pages and then this page. And no, it's just all through ConvertKit. Um, and it's just easier to track and like to really build that relationship with ConvertKit um, and understand it a bit more. Any other questions? Did that answer your question, Candice? Yeah, I, like I told you, like I'm so new to this. I am. I, I was doing some research comparing MailChimp and ConvertKit. And I found this blog that really broke it down. Like it was so simple. Like they even gave scenario and it was exactly what I need. But I'm like, this is so much. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it is a bit overwhelming, but like I do a lot of the breakdown for you. Like I do a yeah. lot of tutorials, a lot of explanation. I don't just do tutorials. I talk about it first, like in one video, then I go back and I show you how to do it. Because when I, you know, I'll tell you guys how I got to ConvertKit. I was using MailChimp. Janelle and I were using MailChimp. You guys know Janelle. And she said, we're switching to ConvertKit. And I'm like, girl, no, like, no, we're good at MailChimp. She's like, no, we're moving to ConvertKit. And she's like, you better figure out how to do ConvertKit. Cause she's like, you're doing ConvertKit. <laughs> Oh, so you not not no, anyone. I'm not. She's not doing it. She, <laughs> you. So I was like, what? So she's like, here's the login and password. Figure it out. And I, I was literally spending hours trying to figure out how to get ConvertKit to work. And once I figured out that thing, I she moved her business to ConvertKit. I moved my business to ConvertKit, and that's that's the end of the story. It's been close, like from there, and like Clubhouse. I know like I'm talking a lot about Clubhouse, but Clubhouse has really shown me the power of these funnels. Mm -hmm. And those people who are going on this stage, which I know, I don't know if you guys know how Clubhouse works. The reason why they're going on that stage is some of them have a plan, some of them don't. 
the ones who do have a plan know are going to get your D, get you in their DMs, give you a link, and you're down a funnel for a program for three ninety nine or whatever. And that's that's the missing piece, you know. And maybe it's not a program. You just want to build out like a really, you know. I'm working with a client right now who she has like a community of moms. All she wants to do is just continue to build her list. She has twenty five thousand email subscribers. She wants to build it to fifty thousand. Wow. She's not trying to sell a product. She just wants to provide value, and that's because you know she's using it for community it's not about sales she's not selling anything but you know what she can do if she ever wants to sell she has a list of twenty five thousand people right that's right that's smart let's, i think and, and let's go deeper with that Twenty five thousand people on an email list she has a website so you know how much google adsense traffic she's getting if she's running these people to the website you know how much money she's going to make in just like ads for the site because she has all this traffic. So her strategy is different. I'm not selling you anything in email because I don't want you to like be annoyed. And like, I just want to talk about mom life, but the conversion is getting you to my web. Her conversion is getting people to the website so she can then sell ads. She can then sell um, placements or whatever. So it's different for everybody. Um, it's different for me. Sometimes I'm just like, sometimes some, some of my funnels just to share my story. Um, and others are like to actually sell things. So I hope that answers your question. Have a great one. Bye for now. See ya.